guys welcome back to my channel my name is Desiree and today we are going to be doing some Halloween hunting so I am in the parking lot of TJ Maxx right now and I have a very ambitious goal today and I basically want to go to like multiple TJ Maxx's home goods maybe Ross and the Dollar Tree and things like that and I just want to see what every store has to have in terms of like Halloween decorations. I cannot wait. Halloween is my favorite holiday and the fall is my favorite time of year and without trying to sound like very basic, I just love it. Like when I see all the decorations in the store, I panic and I freak out and everybody thinks I'm crazy. To some it might be a little bit early but at least you know what's like in the stores and what you can look out for when um you want to go and look for Halloween stuff yourself. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I can't wait to get into the stores and go shopping with you guys. So with all that being said, let's go shopping. All right, so TJ Maxx actually had a lot more stuff than I thought they would, and this was just one aisle, so they had a lot of stuff. This jack-o'-lantern was so cute, it was only $16.99, and it lights up, and then these pumpkins were wooden, and they're from the Martha Stewart collection. They had a bunch of kitchenware and they had so much Hocus Pocus stuff. I seriously started panicking when I saw it. This one has two different faces. So if you turn it around, you have like two different options. I thought that was cool. And it was $19.99. These felt garlands were super cute. I know it's not everyone's thing, but I really like them and they were $14.99. I definitely picked up one of these. I think I picked up two actually. <laughs> I really love this crystal ball snow globe. If you turn it on, it like shows you this glittery smoke. I thought that was very, very cool. And it's also by Martha Stewart. I really love this little gnome. He is so cute. He stands on his own and he has a very like classic Scandinavian feel. So I definitely picked him up. I really love these like freestanding little felt ghosts. I thought they looked really classic Halloween, which is the style of Halloween decorations that I'm really into. I thought these jack-o'-lantern cauldrons were really nice. They come in like multiple different finishes so you can choose which one you like the best. They also had a ton of puppy toys and this one was called the Peekaboo Puppuccino. So if you don't like that name, then you're literally a monster. And honestly, these are like high-end dog toys. So I thought this was like a really good deal to find them at TJ Maxx. My dogs would seriously destroy all the toys. So I had to get these like invincible ones. And these are $4.99 and those are really cute. So I picked those ones up. Oh, and I also found sage sticks or like these smudge sticks and they're really in right now for people to like cleanse their homes and it's a nice housewarming gift and I just thought it was really pretty and cool. This one's really pretty. It's packaged up in a jar and it has a smudge stick and a little crystal in it. So I thought that was really cute for $9.99. And finally, I found these vase fillers. They're pumpkins and they're super cute and they range from like $7.99 to $9.99 depending on which colors you like. Okay, so we just left TJ Maxx and now I made my way to Target actually. There was so much good stuff at TJ Maxx. I was super excited. Now we're going to Target because I heard that they released like some of the Halloween stuff. And then hopefully after this, we can check out Home Goods and maybe Ross or like a couple of other 
places that have Halloween decorations. So I'll definitely take you guys along with me for that. But I'm super excited because we're continuing our Halloween hunt and um, basically our journey to finding all of the Halloween decorations and fall decorations that all these stores have to offer. So let's go shopping. So my target was just starting to put everything out, but there were still a few options. I really like these jack-o'-lanterns. I thought they were a good deal because they're 10 to 15 dollars and they're a pretty good size. I already have some of these at home already and they didn't go up in price from last year. It might have even dropped in price actually, so I thought that was a good deal. <laughs> I really love holiday decorations at Target. I think they're really good quality and they're very like on trend too. So I always stop by Target during the holidays. I love this doorbell. I think I might pick it up. Um, I'm not sure yet. I want to see like if it's going to go on sale, but even if it doesn't, it's only $15. So I really like it. I love these Venus flytrap decorations. They're a little bit expensive, they're $35, but I think it's worth it honestly because they're pretty substantial and they very much give me a Haunted Mansion Disneyland vibe, so I think they're worth it. <laughs> All right, now it's time for home goods. I thought this witch sign was so cool. It was $129.99 and it stood really tall. It was like um, at least four feet tall. And all of these pumpkins and skeletons were also super tall, like taller than me. I always pick up the sprinkles at Home Goods and TJ Maxx because they're really affordable. This one was only $2.99 and they came with shapes and everything too, which usually like those can be really expensive. So I definitely grabbed these. There's a big debate in my house about candy corn. Do you guys like it? Leave it in the comments below. I love these little gift bags by Martha Stewart. They are $4.99 for 13 of them. So it's a pretty good price and I think they're so cute. These ones are little wiener dogs and this is Happy Halloween -y, and then these ones are donuts. I was so impressed by this Martha Stewart skeleton hand lantern. It was super heavy and it was $49.99. Home Goods had a ton of fall decorations too, not just Halloween. And these apples were so cute and they were only $12.99. So if you're looking for fall decorations and not just Halloween specific, then there's definitely a lot of options. So you can decorate for the entire season if you want to and not just Halloween. All right, so it's the next day. I don't know why. I thought I could make it to every single store, like five or six stores in one day. And on top of that, I didn't start in the morning. I started at like 3 p.m. So it was getting dark, like things were starting to close. So I was like, okay, I'll just like go to the other stores the next day. I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and probably TJ Maxx, like another location. And I'm excited to just keep looking around and continue our Halloween hunt and show you guys what I find. So let's go inside. My Dollar Tree just got fully stocked, so I truly felt like I hit the jackpot when I walked in there. That does not always happen, but today I got lucky. So they had a ton of stuff, and I was so excited to see all of the fall and Halloween stuff. I definitely picked up some of these little lanterns. They were so cute, and they looked really quality. They are made out of glass and metal. These LED string lights were so nice and I was so excited because they were only a dollar. All right, this is our last stop on our Halloween hunt. And I first saw this Snoopy cup and it was so cute. It was $9.99, but I had to, I literally could not not get it. <laughs> It 
Again, if you like fall stuff more than Halloween stuff, then there was a lot of that. This little football gnome, and I thought this was so sweet. It's a six foot garland with sunflowers and pumpkins, and it was $12.99. When I saw these aprons hanging, I literally went into a panic. They were so perfect. This one says, I am a Sanderson sister, and it's from Hocus Pocus. And there was this Peanuts one for Thanksgiving, and it was so sweet. I couldn't pick between the two, so I got both. I was so happy that we found so much stuff. I couldn't possibly fit it into one video, but let me know down in the comments what you liked. All right, you guys, that concludes our two-day Halloween hunt. I think we did such a good job. There was way more stuff than I thought there was going to be, and I got a little more stuff than I should have, but whatever like Halloween's my favorite holiday, fall's my favorite time of year so I let myself indulge a little bit but if you guys like videos like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm so thankful that you guys were able to join me for this video and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much guys. Bye! Mwah.